Hi, this is Lisa from Monarch Butterfly Land Saving Society. I just wanted to make a video about my work, and my work usually entails, or this these days has gotten more and more interested in animal behavior on our planet and how to preserve and cons and and. Uh, strengthen and provide health and love and nourishment and care to the animal population so they'll live long and prosper and through our tending and through the tending of all uh, people on the planet uh, and the nourishment we can provide during the period of uh, desertification on the planet um, during that period of, of nourishment I pray they'll grow stronger and stronger and then get ready back into their work of rebuilding the habitats on the earth that are declining and not doing as well. It's been my program for about a year studying desertification and coming to the conclusion that the best way to handle that is to deal with the pollinators, the birds, the bees, and the burrowing rodents. And from there, also the larger animals um, who are suffering in desert lands where there's less to eat and who in the cultivated areas have no nothing much to eat and who forage for food and there's less and less things like fruits because people grow them for people and put pesticides on them. So in this um, talking and these videos that I've been putting out, I've come closer and closer to the realization that the animal kingdom is of should be of the utmost importance to all people on the planet and especially those living in cultivated areas, cities, deserts, polar re regions, mall, um, suburban towns, anywhere where, where there are people and farmlands, where there's not as much wilderness and not as much of the wild earth, um, that people should think about the animal population in those areas where they don't have their full habitats in place and where they don't have the fruits and nuts and, and seeds of the earth that are usually there. And they should set a program in place to put things out in their backyard like nectar and uh, bird seed and nuts for the gophers and corn and apples and anything they can think of and left leftovers and cereal and grains and they can certainly plant grasses and flowers which the butterflies and the bees will tend to and the birds will, will actually help your lawn grow if you throw seeds on the lawn. Um, it's also important to cultivate more wilderness areas, to set aside places in towns that are parks and conservancies, to um, for let those areas procreate and become wild again so the animals can take charge of their own habitat and do in their private time what they would normally do to bring back the wilderness of the earth and to bring back all the environments that are becoming barren. Um, one of the things that I was thinking is that people don't seem to act or, or be in sync with animals. We hear all our lives about animals being extinct when we go to school. We don't really think much about it, and it's really a sad thing because they're uh, – of utmost important to importance to our entire uh, ability to procreate and and stay alive and have photosynthesis and all the things we need because they do keep our outdoors cleaned up and protected and multiplying and fruitful and i was thinking if people would think more along the lines of what animals think like maybe they would be more in tune with animals and not antithetical and when you think about what animals eat they eat the fruits of the earth they don't eat any uh anything well i guess at times they do they're known to kill each other and eat each other but if you think in general a lot of animals forage on the grasses and the, the crops or the the fruits of the trees and if people would eat more like animals ate uh maybe being a vegetarian or a vegan they might be more in tune with the animal life and that's just a suggestion not to eat animals so that they feel that we're we're not um taking their life every day so we have something to eat, which would be antithetical to the whole point of taking care of the animals. In some way, the spirit of the planet does know if on the one hand you're you're eating animals and making them suffer through that whole process, and then on the other hand trying to take care of them. It would be probably a good thing to stop taking the life of animals and eating them at the same time that you're trying to procreate them and let them run wild and set into place a program where we take care of the animals. The, the spirit of each person is known outside of uh, your own body because your spirit is known to the spirit above is the way I feel and and the heavens above our forebearers are there and I think it would please the the earth um, spirit if right now we would take care of the animal population and another thing is that when animals go to the bathroom they 
create a, a clean form of methane with all the things they've eaten, which actually grow fruits of the planet in their, what they call their dung. And that is like a fertilizer with, with the seeds. And when people go to the bathroom, it actually pollutes the planet so much that it's full, the oceans are full of our, our waste. And that's really a bad thing. If we ate healthier, our planet would be much healthier because our waste products wouldn't be polluting the ocean so much and the septic tanks. And that's a huge problem on the planet is what to do with all the urine and all the waste. Whereas with animals, there's no such thing as that problem. Everything they are is clean and easy. They don't take drugs and they don't eat, drink coffee and they don't have alcohol and they don't eat slabs of meat. And basically animals are perfectly clean and everything they eat might come out and then actually procreate right back into the ground through their dung and their, their methane and their their fertilizers. Humans create a huge waste because we're in a way in a system and a cycle that's antithetical to the cycle of the earth. We shouldn't really be eating things, putting horrible things in our body that when it comes out, it's totally pollution, which means we're eating pollution and then putting out pollution. It shows that our waste is not healthy and we're not healthy because if we can't clean up our waste, it means that it's not somehow biodegradable or it's not somehow sim um, sim pathetic with the cycles of the planet. And I don't think that's natural to the planet. It, the planet always knows how to take care of itself. There's a bunch of things on the planet that have nowhere to go, like our garbage and our waste. And the animals, usually the microbes clean things up, but they can't clean up something like that forever. It's just too much. And I would think that if people want to help clean the planet, planet, they have to clean out their own bodies and not produce waste that's impossible to go anywhere, but into the ocean and then sit and ruin the life of the fish and all the plant, all the, the animals. There's just too much, no, too much of a population and too much waste. You almost have to give up on certain things to eat, even if it's hard, just for the safety of the planet. Thank you. <laughs>